gonna do a sun salutation based flow today. Uh, often I do little other flavors, throwing other poses in, but I figured since we're only doing a couple more to put out there for you to play with during this time of closure, then I'll do a basic flow too. So you can come back to those basic poses and I'll do a little bit of an intensive with um, some postural cues. So let's get ready to flow. Come into your favorite seated posture on your mat, get comfy, maybe light a candle, put a diffuser on, get, get a space to practice and let everything go. Sitting on your mat, spine long, feeling tall and alert. Turning palms up, ready to receive what is ahead of you in your practice today. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth for two breaths. Big full breath in. Big full breath out. Really push through the diaphragm, letting all the breath go out. And then coming into a regular breath, feeling your little alignment cues from your body. Noticing if the shoulder blades can find neutral, the hips can relax a little bit. And then inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, interlace the fingers, accept your index finger point up, draw the ribs in, Feel that openness and stretch. If that doesn't feel good to have your hands together, your hands can be right here, still reaching up. <sighs> and then bring your left hand down to the floor, right arm goes up and over your right ear. Keep both hips touching the floor. Reach. Inhale, center. And exhale, other side. Feel the contact of your sits bones onto the floor, kind of pushing in as you lift away. Inhale, center. Take those hands behind, interlace the fingers if it feels okay, and stretch. If you want, you can hold a strap or a dish towel or something between your hands to create an easier stretch in the back. And then release those arms forward. Walking the hands over to the left, so you're going to fold over your left leg. Walking back through center over to the right. center, sweep it up, and exhale, cactus arms, take those shoulder blades together in the back, open the heart, inhale, lift one more time, interlace the fingers the way that feels funny, like put the other thumb on top, index finger up, lift, make sure your neck's not craning, but there's just some openness through that throat. And release. Roll the shoulders out a little. Check in with your head and neck. And then take some big circles through the hip sockets. And back the other way. And then come to all fours, hands and knees. Come to the middle of your mat. And we're just gonna rock those hips side to side, looking over at the shoulder the way you're turning your hips. So swing your hips to the right, look to the right. Hips to the left, look to the left. And back to center. So starting with a little 
mini flow, we'll get into a half series flow later. Your knees are gonna be back a little bit. We're gonna come into a kneeling plank. Lift up and over so your shoulders are over the wrists. Open the heart just a little bit. Squeeze those hips in line so your hips aren't up in the air and they're not sagging down right in the middle. And then bending at your elbows, take the elbows right back by your ribs, like you're squeezing something in that space. Lower all the way down. Keep the shoulder blades squeezing together and lift up using your upper back muscles. Release. Reverse push up. Kneeling plank. Two. A little closed knee child stretch. Inhale up and over. Same thing. A couple more times. Release down. Squeeze and lift. And press back. Last time. Come into neutral. We're going to take the knees wide as the mat. Toes touch in the back. Puppy or child's pose. Child's pose goes all the way back. Reach and release your head. Puppy pose would be hips in the air. One more time. 
time back to down dog. And then stepping or hopping your way up to the top of the mat, bend the knees a little up and maybe hop, maybe walk yourself up there. Take your forward fold, just hang, maybe grab your elbows. Release, shake the arms out, kick the head. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, fingertips up by the shins. Reach through the top of the head and back through the tailbone, flattening everything out. Bend and release. Press through the feet. Inhale. Sweep everything up. Exhale, release. Taking Tadasana Mountain Pose. Palms turn forward. So coming into chair. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sit back. If this doesn't feel good on your shoulders to be in your chair pose, right through here you can come down and hands to the heart. So either way, you're still creating that nice strong thigh work. Breathe, roll, open the heart. Inhale, lift. Exhale, open the heart. So tucking your hips under, allowing that low back to be safe. Lift, inhale. Exhale, chair. We're gonna take a twist in our chair. So elbow and rib area are gonna come around. Left, right, elbow towards left knee. Check in and see if your knees slid around. Try to keep them lined up. That means your low back is lined up. Your SI joint is safe. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, back through center and take it up. Big breath. Make sure those hips are tucked into neutral and then exhale, cactus arms. Big breath in right here. And breathe it around. Shake it out. Coming into just a little bit of sun salutation work. So I'm gonna take you through one kind of an intensive exploring the sun salutation, and then we'll just go through the flow five or six times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, swan dive, really flat back. You can soften your knees as you come down. Right foot steps back into a low lunge. So if it didn't land where you want it, keep stepping back till you have that nice low lunge feeling, stretch, and then down dog. Downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana, drop the head, press back. Inhale, lift up and over to your plank. Same as that kneeling plank, you can take a kneeling plank here. Exhale to about halfway point, 90 degrees. Holding that, roll to the tops of the feet. Lift and open the heart. Or you can come back to that low cobra that we did earlier. Exhale, down dog. Right foot's gonna step through, up between the hands. If that doesn't happen really easily, keep popping your foot up underneath the knee. Big stretch, and then step your feet together. Halfway lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Left foot steps back, so other way. Same middle, down dog. Inhale, up and over. Exhale, 90 degrees. So my elbows are squeezing right by my ribs. And then roll to that up dog. And then back to down dog. Left foot steps up between the hands. Feel that stretch in your low lunge for a breath and then step together. Halfway lift, exhale down, inhale, sweep it up. Take a breath. So we're just gonna come through that with the breath. Inhale, lift, adjusting for your body. Exhale, release. Right foot steps back, left foot steps back. 
Inhale, up and over. Find your alignment. Shift your weight forward just a little bit. Take it down halfway. Lift and open the heart. And exhale back. Left foot steps up. Take the low lunge. Feet step together. Halfway. Exhale down. Inhale up. And release. Sweep it up. Breathing. Getting your body flowing in the morning. Left foot. Feel the stretch. Right foot. Inhale, through center, big strong plank. Exhale, squeeze the elbows in, tricep push-up. Inhale, lift, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Left foot steps up, right foot steps up. Halfway lift, exhale down. You don't have to go at my pace, you can go faster or slower. At home, exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale down, right foot steps back. Feel the stretch, exhale, step back. Both legs, feel the long lines of the body in your down dog. Inhale up and over. Exhale, chaturanga, dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot, left foot. Halfway lift, exhale down. Inhale, lift. Hands to the heart, take a break. If you'd like, always like getting a drink of water while you're at home, do your own thing. Exhale, release. Couple more, step back, left foot, right foot. Up and over. Exhale through that tricep push up. Inhale, lift, open the heart up to the tops of the feet. Exhale, down dog. Left foot and right foot. Halfway lift, exhale down, inhale, sweep it up. Let's do two more. Take a breath here, inhale, sweep up, exhale, release. Right foot, or whatever foot we're on, right? Come back, down dog. Just alternating right and left. up again. Exhale. Left foot. Big stretch. Step back. Up and over. Release halfway. Lift. You can always take your low cobra. Step feet together. Halfway lift. Exhale down. Inhale. Sweep it up. Last one. Inhale. Lift. Exhale, flat back, really hinge at those hip sockets as you come forward and step back, left foot, right foot. Inhale, center, exhale down, inhale, lift, exhale back, step it in, step together, halfway lift, breathe in, release, breathe out, inhale, breathe in. Take a chair. So our sun salutations, those are sun salutation A. Surya Namaskar A. Roll those shoulder blades to neutral. Squeeze down through the thighs if you want more work. Right here is where you're gonna feel the more work happening. Big breath. Get centered for a moment. Grounded through those feet. Twisting the other way this time, left elbow comes around. Check in with those knees. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Check in again. Sometimes your knees do something you didn't tell them to do. Back to center. Breathe up. Exhale, release. Roll it out. Take a step back. Left foot opens up. Five pointed star. 
take a side stretch. Inhale, center, and left. Inhale, center, and take the feet in 45 degrees. Exhale, goddess pose, horse stance, whatever you call this one at home. Roll those shoulder blades to neutral, tuck the sits bones down, take those arms out strong. Sit down deeper. Press it up, inhale. Exhale down, strong squeeze and tuck as you come down. Inhale, lift, exhale, release down. Inhale, up, and back foot 90 degrees, front foot points to the top of the mat. Open the heart, take it to warrior two. Change your stance if you need more room to line things up and open through the front of the body. Engage, reach. Roll the shoulder blades to neutral. Look over that front fingertip. Breathe. Create your drishti, your intense point of focus, right over that middle finger. Maybe close your eyes and just imagine that intense focus. Taking it internally. And then reverse warrior, turn the palm up, lift. Stay low in that thigh. Back through center. Side angle, elbow to knee or hand to the floor. Reach that left arm over your ear. Inhale, back up. Press through the front leg. You're gonna take triangle. So, hips stay tucked. Reach out, slide that arm and rib area forward. This hip kind of tilts out. Drop the hand down, maybe to a shin or the floor. As you come down, if you're reaching for the floor and your heart starts to turn and collapse, you've gone a little too far. So stay here and keep the heart open until it wants to close and you know you need to stop. So stay in that open space, big stretch back here. Inhale, lift, and step up to the front of the mat. Breath, whee, <laughs> and other side. So I'm just gonna point the other way so you're not looking at my backside. So right foot is 90 degrees, left foot points to the other side of your mat. Come down into that warrior two, same thing. Lining thigh bone, pointing the same way as the foot, reach. You can line things up to sink down and challenge that thigh muscle in the front. And then drishti again goes over the front fingertips. Left this time. Turning that front palm up, lift. Take your side body stretch, sink down deeper. Inhale, center. And side angle, elbow to knee or hand to the floor, deciding which one works for you today. Inhale, center back up, push straight through that front leg, triangle pose, slide it forward, drop it down, reach that right arm up, drishti goes up, that floating hand, still middle finger, Slide it back up. Come to center. And that star stance again. Take your heels in, 45 degrees. Exhale, squeeze it down. Take the hands to the knees. Drop the hips. Just slide side to side a little bit. And twist. Left shoulder comes around. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist the other way. Inhale, center, take it up. Exhale, down, halfway. Feel the squeeze. Inhale, lift. And point it to the front of the mat. Just taking that warrior series one more time. Warrior two. To the right. 
Tucking the hips, feel the strength. Sink down, challenge your body where it's at. So we're drawing in around your transverse and obliques, as well as through the pelvis, the glutes, opening and reaching out. Checking out that gaze. Again, maybe closing the eyes. Turning the palm up, lift, stretch, and come back, side angle. Come up and straighten the front leg, triangle pose. Gaze goes up along that hand that's floating if your neck is okay with that. Inhale, center. Pivot around to the other side or switch and face the other way. Warrior two. Roll those shoulders open so your chest, your collarbone is open. Challenge the front thigh. Knee and foot pointing the same way. You're pressing equally through the feet. Really get grounded in those feet. And then let yourself come down. Turn the palm up in the front, lift. Keep squeezing through that front leg, don't lose that. Inhale, center, side angle. Hand can be to the floor or elbow to the knee. Inhale up, straighten the front leg and triangle pose. Take it down, reach and maybe look up. Inhale, back through center, and take that five-pointed star. Feet come into 45, lift, tuck, draw in with the ribs, open the heart. Bend elbows and knees, come down. Inhale, press up. Exhale, we're gonna come all the way down to a wide-legged forward fold. Drop the head, shake it out. Walk the hands over to the right ankle. You can turn that into a twist or just kind of hang out there. Back through center and twist to the left. step together. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift, sweep it all the way up. And release. So we're going to come into half moon. I have my homemade, homemade block. You can use a giant book if you want, like the volume collection of Shakespeare or something. If you have a big, thick book at home, um, you can put that block at either end of your mat, or you can come to a wall and do your half moon against the wall. So I'll show you against the wall today. If you're somebody who wants to do that on your mat, feel free to do it that way. 
Come towards your wall. The block's gonna go in front of your right foot to start. So your weight's gonna shift into your right foot and then you can use that block for balance. Reach up and then slowly unwrap that side of the body. If you wanna lean all the way against the wall, you can, but try to see if you can come away from the wall a little bit. Flex that back foot, try to get it even with your hip. Reach into that half moon pose. Maybe look up if you're using the wall, you can really see how big your heart can get in this pose. You can challenge yourself and add that other arm to a floating position. And release and switch. So we're coming to the other side. So left side, reach, flex that back foot, keep it level with the core, and then your right arm lifts over your left. So there's this plumb line with the two arms. It's a very fine line between locking that knee and having it be soft but engaged. Try to play around with your support, and if you'd like, you can add that arm, floating, challenging yourself to move away from the wall a little bit, knowing that it's there to catch you if you wobble, and release. Perfect. The wall is also a great place to practice your triangle pose that we did earlier. You can kind of feel how open you are. Triangle and half moon are almost the same thing. One is a big stretch, one is a balance. But you're getting that same alignment. Coming out for tree pose. So taking a breath right in the middle of your mat if you want. If your mat's really squishy or if you're on carpet, this will be more challenging. So keep that in mind. Left foot is the base. Feel the roots, and then feel yourself grow up and out of those roots. Your foot can come low on your leg, or you can take it up higher than the knee. Reach it up, find your inner thigh. If you have slippery pants, it might not work. Take that feeling of openness in the hips and then add your branches. Feel your spring in your body. Your trees are gonna sprout leaves. You can take your gaze up. You can try to close your eyes. See if you wobble in your tree. Big breath. A fun challenge is standing on your block with that standing leg too, if you're wanting more. Or go stand out on the grass, that's a really good challenge for your tree pose. Again, root down and then feel the growth up out of the roots. Feel maybe a low tree, open the heart. You can even just be right here or right here. If your branches are distracting you, right, as soon as you get up here and you start to wobble, Maybe just hang out here and check in with where you're at with balancing today. Feel the openness. Even in a low tree, your, your heel might be right here and just barely lifting the toes off the ground. You're still putting all your weight into one leg. You're asking yourself those questions. Where am I in my balance? Can I go a little farther? And then if the answer is no, your toes right there to catch you. So, find your tree, two more breaths. And release. We made a couple of stretches here before we get down onto the floor. Coming into a low lunge with a kneeling low lunge. So step your left foot back, Bring that knee down to the floor. And you're gonna bring the hips into kind of a relaxed forward position. You're stretching through the front of the hip on that left side. Make sure you're happy with where your knee and ankle are at over here. And then take your hands up to your knee. Tuck the sits bones down as you lift up. So all those little core muscles making your adjustments 
And then if that feels good right there, good base, you can add the arms. Right here, or you can reach behind. Do a big stretch through the chest as well. Listening to your body, it might not be up here right now. It might need some support. So do what your body needs in this stretch. The goal is right here. All the extra stuff is just extra. And release left hand down. Right arm lifts. Your knee can be down or up for this one. Release to the inside of that front leg and walk the hands back. Pull those toes up. Take the right hand on the other side again. And you just kind of hover here into your hamstring and calf stretch. If you can reach your foot, grab it. If not, maybe put a dish towel around the foot to hold that stretch. Drop the right hip even with the left hip. Flat back. Inhale, center. We're gonna switch. Right foot comes back. Left foot steps up. Swing it up there to where you want this, the width that you want right there. And then we're going to come up with that right hip stretch. So hands right here on the knee for support. If you're not sure how your low back's feeling about this, if you have some low back issues, this is going to help you push into your knee and lift away so that you're kind of keeping the low back tucked and safe. If you don't have low back issues and you want to add the arms, feel free to play. Big breath. Enjoying the stretch and then release and push back to your hamstring stretch. Oh, I forgot the twist. We'll come back and do the twist. Hips even. Feel the hamstrings and calves lengthen as you pull those toes back, flexing. And back over, right hand to the floor. Left arm lifts, kneeling twist, or lift that right knee back up. Twisted lunge. And release. Stepping your right foot in a little bit. We're gonna take pyramid pose. So you can step your foot in even more if you want. Even the hips out, so you're gonna draw that left hip back. So you've got a nice flat sacrum here. If that fold is too much, you can bring your block back into play or take your hands to your hips. So your feet are both pointing forward, like they're on skis. Feel the stretch. And then soften those knees, step together, lift up, big breath. And then we're going to take it to the other side. Left foot steps back. Just part of the way, just a few feet, not a big stance. Both toes pointing forward, hip width apart. And then take that fold again. Hands can be on the hips, your hands can walk your way down to the floor if that feels doable today. But try not to do it with a big rounded back. Try to take it into a flat back. Pressing through both feet like you're trying to pull them out apart. Feel engaged. And then lift, inhale. Step feet together. Sweep it up and release. Roll those shoulders out a few times. Take a few moments to notice your posture. Notice where your feet landed when you came into that stance. Notice if you lock your knees, take a little inventory up through the hips, ribs, and shoulder area. And then head and neck. Closing your eyes, two more breaths. Breathe into that standing space. We're going to come down to the mat in one more breath. Hi, Amalia. 
and Jan. Any of the rest of you that are watching, thank you for watching. I'll see that you watched later. Coming back around, we're gonna sit, I'm gonna turn around the other way so that it isn't all backside view, but you can come into that sitting stance, sitting position. And we're gonna roll back into boat pose. So you're on your um, sits bones, roll back, knees walk back, toes can touch, open the heart, and then you can lift one leg at a time, or you can be here, kind of 90 degrees almost, and do straighten one leg at a time. So whichever one you're doing, alternating legs, keeping the back long and the heart open. And then come down part of the way, and back up. One more. And come to a little butterfly pose. Get tall, and then decide if you want to fold from your nice flat back. Stretching into those hips. Inhale, lift. Extend your left leg out in front of you. Right leg's gonna cross over. And then right hand behind. Left arm comes around, big breath in, exhale, twist. You can have no weight in the back hand or a little bit of weight, but it's reminding you to stay tall. So wherever you land here, explore for two breaths. Back through center, open twist the other way. Back to center, switch. Cross the other leg over. You can also keep the leg to the inside and just twist from there. So as I twist that way, this foot's gonna stay flat. And if it's not staying flat very well, then you know it should probably be on the inside of that front leg. So take the left hand behind, right arm comes up, and twist. Two more breaths. open twist to the right. Back to center. And roll it down, knees to chest. Take the knees away from the body and back in. And the other way. And then wrap your arms around your knees and push. Or you can grab your feet, sort of a reclined rabbit pose, and push the feet into the hands. Release down, take the legs up, flex and point. We're gonna hold one leg and drop the other, and then switch. Come back to neutral. You can pike, reach around behind your legs if you want, or just hold somewhere for your hamstring stretch wherever that is for you. Feel that length in the backs of the legs. And then take the feet out to the sides in 
in a V. Roll the shoulder blades to neutral. Wiggle the feet around. And then drop it into a little frog stretch. Bring your knees in and release the feet down to the mat. Arms to your sides, walk the feet in under your knees. And then we're going to squeeze up into a bridge pose. So lift with your glutes and your hamstrings, squeeze up. Shoulder blades can squeeze together. You can reach your hands in towards each other. Lift even more, chest towards the chin. If you'd like, you can challenge this point. Stay here or lift one leg at a time. Kind of play with that shifting of weight. And release and roll it down. Cross right ankle over left knee and let that knee drop, relax. Bring it into figure four stretch. You can reach for the knee, the thigh, or the shin. The soul. Big breath. Takes birth. Takes incarnation. To learn. Release. To learn. Take your left leg, or let's do right leg down straight in front of you, and then we're going to bend the left knee and bring it across the body. Look back to the left. I love things. Try to relax more of the body. Notice any spots that are kind of fighting this twist. And send your breath into your twist, letting go. My wheelchair. I love you all. Back to your center and roll to your right side. I love the whole. So thing. look down and see if you can take that knee back so you can't see it anymore and reach for that foot. The top leg can just reach out or you can let it come in front of you and kind of rock into that. Twist and quad stretch. The soul. Big breath. As you squeeze the heel towards the glutes, feeling that more intense full release through center. Find your way to the other side. Left leg straight, right leg bends. Bring it across the body and look to the right. Two more breaths in your twist, sending the breath, imagining it going to anything that feels tight, seeing if you can relax a little more. And then come all the way onto that left hip for your quad stretch, grabbing the bottom leg.
come back through center, lift, and release. Bring the knees in towards you. Take them out for happy baby. Reach for your shins or your feet. And let your shoulders and head and neck relax down to the mat. So if you find yourself really hunched up to get into this pose, maybe walk your hands down further so you can relax in the pose more. And then take it into a little butterfly, down to reclined butterfly. Reach the arms overhead, long stretch. And then exhale out to the sides, maybe your arms are bent or out in a T. Staying there for a breath, I'm gonna explain the next posture that we're gonna come into real quick. Using my homemade block, you can use um, like a book with a blanket over it or whatever works. Um, you can lay a blanket over something and then some of the blanket can be where your head's gonna go. We're gonna do a heart opening pose. So that will counteract all of the, the sitting hunched over our devices we might be doing during the day. Coming into a space of openness through the heart. Lying on your back. That pillow or towel rolled up is going to go vertical along your spine between your shoulder blades. Roll down. And then the head comes back down to the floor or the blanket behind you. If that doesn't feel good on your neck and back, you can have a pillow up higher under your head. So your feet can be wherever, knees bent or out to the sides. Taking some breaths right here. Shavasana when you're ready. Rolling to your side a little bit to move that block out of the way. And if you want a pillow under your head in Shavasana or under your knees, you get to be as comfy as you want at home, lying on your back. Taking a little inventory of the body, starting with your feet. Notice your ankles, your lower legs, the knees, up the legs into the thighs and hips. Relaxing through the pelvis, the low back, the belly. Taking one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Awareness coming up between those two points and into the heart and the back. Feeling the hands move as you breathe. Aware of the shoulders and arms. Relaxing your jaw and your forehead. Rolling to your side when you're ready. Again, feel free to stay in Shavasana at home as long as you need. Now that your body is kind of 
checked in with, it's a good time to just sit in a meditation posture and give yourself a moment of stillness. You don't have time right now for your moment of stillness. That's fine too. Coming into a seated posture. Leaving you with metta meditation, chant or prayer or say, bringing your hands to our hearts. May you be well, may you be happy, may you find peace. Namaste. Thank you for coming to class with me or watching later, if you watch this later. Take care of yourselves out there. Miss you. And post questions if you have any. If you have any about the postures or yoga in general, just post some questions and I will get back and answer them.